guys, how's it going? <laughs> Thanks for clicking on this video. This was a bit of a difficult video for me to make. I lived in this apartment for two years. I thought that I would live here for at least a few more years. I'm not ready to leave. Unfortunately, I am moving under unfavorable circumstances, to put it lightly. I won't go into it in detail in this video. If I do end up making a video about this situation, I will leave it down in the description. But anyways, this video is a little bittersweet to make, but I'm just trying to stay positive and trying to make lemonade out of the lemons that I have been handed. I hate moving around and when I found this place, I was like, oh, this is it. So it's been a bit overwhelming just kind of going through all of my personal belongings and figuring out what I want to keep, what I want to put away. I've been in Japan for about five weeks. I came back to Hawaii, moving out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> um, thankfully, my landlord have been just super supportive and extremely understanding. They allowed me to break my lease and they also offered to buy all of my furniture from me so yeah this is my Hawaii streamer house tour so we'll start off in my kitchen Oh, I just realized this is still here. This is from my birthday stream. Um, I just never took it off and I totally forgot about it. This is where I do my cooking streams. I personally don't cook that often. I use that microwave a lot. It's a very nice microwave. This is usually where I stand for my cooking streams. I have the camera set right there. I have my monitor set up there. I have my studio lights set over there. And then I just stand here for like six to eight hours. <laughs> I made my gyoza using this air fryer, which I've only used once for that cooking stream. Um, but other than that, this is my kitchen. This is my living room. Um, I try to clean up as much as I can <laughs> with the help of my friend, Thanks Story. I rarely use this space because I'm either always streaming outside walking my dog or in bed. But in theory, this is where I watch TV <laughs> and relax on my couch. Keep all of Hilo's toys here. These are just some of her toys. I had plants in here at one point, but they all died. I have this one here. This one's definitely dead. I thought maybe I could resurrect this, but um, nope, nope. She's gone. She's a goner. But you know what? I have these fake plants and um, they're thriving. They're doing really well. I'm really proud of that. my very humble small crystal collection. I actually had someone send in this Jigglypuff crystal for my birthday as well as this Squirtle and these two are like now my favorites and this is from a luau I went to, a luau. I have a, um, a friend who's an artist, so she drew all these avatar fan art, which I'm obsessed with. And a lot of the artwork I have around here are like from my friends. I did do the wallpaper myself, which I am very proud of. Just don't look too close. But you know, the thing about wallpaper is that it's, it, it's incredibly forgiving. So you can't really see all the imperfections. Just, just don't look too close. Anyways, let's move on. Let's move on. While I'm live streaming, I have to make sure that I don't accidentally dox myself, which is why I have tape over my diploma and also why why I never show outside my window, but now I can't because I am moving out. If we walk over this way, then this is like my personal area. This is my bathroom here. There's really nothing that special about it. Just a pretty standard bathroom. This is my laundry room. And this is my bedroom. This is where the magic doesn't happen. I actually purposefully don't decorate my bedroom because I come in here to like just desensitize and I literally just... <laughs> this is the room where I do 
this. And I just like to look outside and it's a really nice view, so I do a lot of de-stressing in here. So this is the part of the video that you've all been waiting for. Behind these doors is where I have my hot tub, I have all of my wardrobes, and where I get ready to start my shoes. So follow me. into this hallway. It's a huge mess right now and honestly I thought about making it look nice for the video but I'm gonna be moving so I really don't care to. This is my tub um, that I spent so much time in. <laughs> um, this is Sid. He's been patiently waiting for me this entire time. This is my mic. I usually just have it hanging this way and then I have the camera where you guys are now just facing this way. That's my portal over there. Uh, my infamous portal where we go to different places. This is my computer. Everything's turned off and unplugged and stuff, but I have my actual computer down there and my two monitors. I have my MacBook there and usually I use all these screens when I'm live. I'll have my OBS in one and chat in one and a bunch of other things. I started building this studio in April and we went live in May and now it's October so it actually hasn't been that long of a time that this studio has existed so I'm really sad that I'm parting ways with it at least I can show you guys a little BTS of my studio I usually have this desk here right in front of my tub I have my stream deck keys wireless keyboard my glasses I have my ring light here I have these blinds closed and then I have studio lights um, down here I have all the different chemicals to treat the tub yes we do have to treat our tubs after every use um, this is the chair that I hate so much <laughs> it creaks and it sucks I hate it I have my Go XLR here. I actually have another table that I usually put right here. And I have my Go XLR right here. This is my second webcam that I use for like my starting soon screen and things that you see there. I have so many of these boxes where it's just like a quartz and speakers and whatever. Life of a streamer. <laughs> One last thing about my room is this sofa. I got it from Ikea and I freaking love this thing. It pulls out into a sleeper sofa. So this is where I do my sleep streams so that I can just keep all of my streaming stuff in one room. That way when I'm done streaming, I can leave and close the door and kind of have that physical separation. So yeah, this is where I sleep on stream. This is my closet. I try to clean up as much as I can, but I kind of don't care. As a life of a streamer, you just end up accumulating a lot of outfits and bikinis and cosplays over time that I just end up filling an entire closet of it. There's some cosplays that like I haven't even been able to wear on stream. And here's even more of like... <laughs> I wasn't kidding about the boxes of electronics and stuff. And I have even more stuff over there. Here's an inflatable hot dog as a backup, just in case. This is the bathroom that I use to get ready for stream every day. I usually have a chair right here so I could do all of my makeup. But besides that, that's pretty much it for this bathroom. 